How much information can you store in your brain? Oh, maybe a petabyte. That's about 4.7 billion books. In other words, you have more space in long-term memory than you could ever fill up. That's right. When you're learning, the problem isn't storage capacity. It's getting information into long-term memory and making it stick. To do that, it will help to know what neurons do and how you can help them do it better. Neurons are your brain's building blocks. You have around 86 billion of them. Neurons have an axon. You can think of that as the neuron's arm. Neurons also have dendrites, which you can think of as legs. There's a lot of little spines on these legs. You can think of those spines as toes. Every time you learn something, neurons connect arms to toes with one another. They form sets of links in your long-term memory. A simple fact, such as the Spanish word for house, is stored as a short set of links. Something more complicated, like the meaning of the word osmosis, will be stored in a more complex set of links. The arm of one neuron just almost touches a toe from another neuron. This little junction is called a synapse. Whenever you think about something you have learned, small electrical signals travel along the sets of links you have created. But if these sets of links are not strong, they will break up. That's when you start forgetting. So to learn something well, you have to create strong sets of links that don't easily break up. And that's what this course is about. Based on neuroscience and cognitive psychology, we will give you the best tools for creating strong links in long-term memory. But first, let's introduce ourselves. Together, we are the author team behind the book Learn Like a Pro, which this course is based on. Both of us have struggled in our learning in the past, but our interest in how we learn made all the difference. Learning Like a Pro helped Olaf go from an average student to graduating from the University of Oxford with distinction. His book on learning strategies, Super Student, is an international bestseller translated into a dozen languages. In this course, we have joined forces to help you learn like a pro. But back to the links. How do you build links when you're learning? And how do you make them stick? That's the burning question. The best way to learn and make new links stick is by testing yourself. This is also called retrieval practice because you're retrieving the information from your own memory links. So don't reread or underline to try to make information stick. Instead, challenge yourself to retrieve the key ideas. When you learn something from an instructor, video, or book, it creates a weak set of links. But each time you pull that information from your memory by retrieving it and without looking at the answer, you strengthen those links. If you're learning new vocabulary, test yourself with flashcards. Or when reading, close the book and try to recall as much as possible from the page or the chapter. And when you solve problems, try on your own to solve those problems before looking at the answer key. You'll find that not only do you learn the material much faster and better this way, but you understand it more deeply too. But wait a minute. If you're like me, I know you've got a problem. You sometimes procrastinate. You're not alone. It turns out that procrastination is one of the biggest challenges for learners worldwide. Learn about how to tackle it in the next video. And as you get ready for the next video, Head over to the discussion forum and share when and how you usually procrastinate. Even better, if you have any tips about overcoming procrastination, share those too. I'm Barb Oakley. And I'm Olaf Shui. Thank you for learning to learn like a pro.